Yo and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector. It's Monday, a new week has started, and I know here and I think a lot of places around the country, it's kind of the first dose of winter, and it's like barely even end of October, and we're supposed to have freezing precipitation here tomorrow, which is very unusual, and a lot of places are getting snow and stuff, so yay, here we go. The doldrums of winter. But I have been picking up a couple things. I've got a couple things in the mail today. And I just wanted to talk about a couple things regarding the channel here, or at least my part of the Bench Clear channel. Uh, some fun things are happening. Uh, later today, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be recording my next podcast for Golden Age of Cardboard with Andy. And we're going to be doing a, our first player profile. And I mentioned it last night on our Bench Clear live stream. I'm going to be doing Roberto Clemente. And I'm very excited about that. He's always been one of those players that I've admired and and just thought a lot of over his career. And so I'm going to do a we're going to do a player spotlight on that. That should drop probably Wednesday, I would guess. Uh, the second thing coming up this week is on Thursday night. I am bringing back Beyond Cardboard. I have not done a Beyond Cardboard episode since I moved over to Bench Clear. And so I'm excited. We're going to be going live to do that on Thursday night, 9.30 Central. It's going to be a late one, but it's it needs to be because my guests are Stove Sports, Mark, and Bob Lewis. So I'm going to be doing a little tag team uh, Beyond Cardboard episode. I'm really excited about that. So just kind of just getting in a groove of doing things again, just, just kind of a normal pace of of video output or whatever content creation because I enjoy doing it and it's a lot of fun and Mark and Bob will be great guests so that'll be Thursday night and there's one thing that I've want to do that I've been got spitballing and trying to figure out and working on for a while now and I want to do a a wives a collector wives roundtable video and Julie's in. My wife is in. She'll do it. Uh, in fact, I've done an interview with her before about uh, the interview with a wife of a baseball card junkie. I did that a long time ago, like years ago on my old channel, Baseball Collector. And I want to do it again, but I want to make it more of a roundtable discussion where you have several different wives of different collectors uh, with different interests and all that kind of thing just to talk about what they think about the hobby. So this is kind of a casting call, I guess. Like, hey, do you have a spouse or significant other that would be interested in coming on and doing that kind of round table video? Uh, I've already got a couple of feelers out there with some people and hopefully I can get, I don't want it to be too big because then it gets into this cacophony of, of noise and you can't, nobody can really make any points but I want to have four or five maybe three or four ladies I guess and then I'll, I'll be like a moderator asking the questions to the ladies but if if you have a wife that would like to or a spouse or I guess significant other that would like to participate I'd love to talk to them so you know shoot put a comment down below and we can start kind of dialoguing about that and seeing if we can make that work and Anyway, I just think it'd be a really fun and interesting video and certainly a different spin because we all have our perception of what our spouses and significant others think about our collecting, but we can get the real scoop, the real deal. That'll be fun. So anyway, all of those things, lots of going on. And uh, anyway, I'm writing articles and man, I'm just having a great time with the hobby right now. It's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of content out there, a lot of stuff to watch. And uh, there's a giant show coming up in just a few weeks, but I'm not going to spoil any of that because that's uh, there'll be plenty of time to talk about that. So here in Dallas, so there you go, guys. Uh, let's get to some com uh, comments. <laughs> Hopefully, you'll write some comments. Let's get to some cards. We'll look at a couple of things. I only got three things in the mail, so it'll be quick. Here we go. Like I said, three pickups, a couple of slabs. Nothing huge, but I got a 1979 Tony Perez I <laughs> Expos. I just love the Montreal Expos stuff. It just uh, really resonates with me. I miss those days of the Expos. Two teams in Canada 
Now we only have the Blue Jays, so cool card there. And then I got a Hall of Fame catcher here, Johnny Bench. Love the All-Star Shield on these 78 tops. It's a really sharp eight. Uh, I think it would be higher if not for the top left corner. is a little smushy, but uh, just a really perfect, great example for my collection of this card. And Johnny Bench's stuff is really kind of pricey. Kind of like uh, Yogi Berra. You know, some of these catchers, I guess, are just highly sought after. In fact, I may do a whole video on Hall of Fame catchers because very, very interesting area of the hobby market and how the hobby looks at catchers. So anyway, that's another thing. I got a lot of stuff in the irons in the fire. And the last thing is this. I'm so excited to have this. Uh, this is a Perez Steel Hall of Fame Stan Musial autograph. I have his celebration card, and I have his great moments, Perez Steel. I have all kinds of Stan Musial autographs, but for whatever reason, this one had eluded me over the years, and so I just, I just bit the bullet and bought it. Probably paid more than I should have, but I didn't care. It's already slabbed up. Granted, it's a it's a old blue flip, as you can see there, but it does say Perez Steel Hall of Fame. It is an authentic auto, according to them. Just a really, really pretty card. And so I didn't have this one. This Again, this is the Hall of Fame postcards. So there you go. Continuing to chip away. And later this week, I should be getting a huge order from Memory Lane Auctions. So... There you go, guys. That is uh, what we got for the mail today. Uh, let me know what you think down below. All the questions I asked in this video, feel free to comment on any or all of it. We'll talk at you later. Keep collecting.